of the Hamim series surahs. Now remain two more pairs. Surat al-Zukhruf and Surat al-Dukhan. They are a pair. Both start with these words, Hamim wal Kitab al Mubin. Then Surat al Jasiyah and Surat al Ahqaf. They are a pair. They start with the words, Hamim Tanzil al Kitab min al al Aziz al Hakim. In these four surahs, the main subject we have discussed is Tawheed again. But here, both aspects of Tawheed they are discussed. The theoretical aspect or Tawheed fil Aqidah and the practical aspect of Tawheed, Tawheed fil Abal. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Hamim wal Kitab al Mubin, by the book that is self evident and manifest. Now, here, this is the oath that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken. But what is the subject on which this oath has been taken? It is ma'zuf, it is understood. So we have to read here the same as we find in Surah Yasin. Yasin wal Quran al Hakim, inna kala min al Mursaleen. So that is Muqtab alayh over here also. Hamim wal Kitab al Mubin, inna kala min al Mursaleen. By this book, which is self-evident and manifest, O Muhammad, you are, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, definitely a messenger of Allah. وَإِنَّهُ فِي أُمِّ الْكِتَابِ لَدَيْنَا لَعَلِيٌّ حَكِيمٌ And this book is in the mother book, which is with us, and which is very high and full of wisdom. Now this is Umm al-Kitab. This Qur'an, as I said before also at some time, these are the copies of Qur'an, the attested copies. Real Qur'an is fi ummil kitab, in the mother book, which is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or fi lahim mahfuz, the protected and preserved tablet. Or fi kitabim maknoon, the hidden book. So these are the three, you know, places in Qur'an where it is said the real Qur'an is there. وَإِنَّهُ فِي أُمِّ الْكِتَابِ لَدَيْنَا لَعَلِيٌّ حَكِيمٌ And verily, this Qur'an is in the mother book, the most fundamental book, which is with us, لَدَيْنَا, and it is very high and full of wisdom. أَفَنَذْرِبُ عَنْكُمُ الزِّكْرَ صَفْحَرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ أَنْ كُنْتُمْ قَوْمَ مُسْلِفِينَ Shall we then take away the admonition from you altogether because you are a transgressors, transgressing people? Because you are not accepting it, you are rejecting it, you are mocking at it. So, should we take it away from you? No. وَكَمْ أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ نَبِيٍّ فِي الْأَوَّلِينَ And how many a prophet we send among the ancients. وَمَا يَاتِهِمْ مِنْ نَبِيٍّ إِلَّا كَانُوا بِهِ يَسْتَحْزِئُونَ And there never came any prophet to any people, but they mocked at him. فَأَغْلَقْنَا عَشَدْنَا مِنْهُمْ بَتْشَنْ then we destroyed those who were very much more powerful than these people. Babada Masarul Awwaleen and the examples of the ancients have already gone forth. And if you ask him, who created the heavens and the earth, they will definitely say, Khalaqahunna al-Azizul Alim. They have been created by the by that who is almighty and knower and, and Door of everything. Allah di jala lakum un arda mahdan. Who has made the earth for you a cradle? Wa jala lakum fiha subula. And He has made there in paths and ways for you. La lakum tahtadun, so that you can reach your destinations. Wa Allah di nazar min samay man bi qadar. And it is He who sends down water from the heaven in due measure. Fan sharna bihi baldatam maita. And then we revive thereby a land which is which was already dead. Kazalika Tufradun. In the same way you will be taken out from the earth in resurrection. And it is who has created the pairs of all things? And he has given you in the form of ships and cattle on which you ride. They tastavu ala zuhurihi, so that you should mount upon their backs. Summa taskuru ni'mata rabbikum. 
And then you should remember the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on you is a stawaitum alayhi. When you have settled down on them, وَتَقُولُوا and then you say, سُبْحَانَ الَّذِي سَخَّرَ لَنَا هَذَا وَمَا كُنَّا لَهُ مُقْرِنِينَ Glorified is he who has subjected all this to us, and we ourselves were not capable to do it. وَإِنَّا إِلَىٰ رَبِّنَا لَمُنْ قَلِبُونَ And then finally, we have to return to our Lord. وَجَعَلُوا لَهُ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ جُزْعًا And they have declared some of his own servants as a part of him. Now when somebody says he is son of God, now son, where from he comes? He comes from the sperm of the father. The sperm was a part of the body of the father. It means whosoever is an offspring is a part of the person of the father. So that way they are claiming, as if they are claiming, that they are the part of his person. وَيَعْلُوا لَهُ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ جُزًا إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَكَفُورٌ مُبِينٌ Very the insan is very ungrateful. أَمِتْ أَخَلَ مِمَّا يَخْلُقُ بَنَاتٍ Has he, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, taken unto himself, out of what he created, daughters, وَاسْفَاكُمْ بِالْبَنِينَ And he has preferred you for sons. وَإِذَا بُشِّرَ أَحَدُهُمْ بِمَا ضَرَبَ لِلْرَحْمَانِ مَسَلَىٰ And one and one of them is given the glad tidings of what they are striking the similitude for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. ظَلَّ وَجْهُهُ His face becomes darkened. مَسْوَدًّا ظَلَّ وَجْهَهُ مُسْوَدًّا وَهُوَ كَسِيمٌ And he is choked with grief. أَوَمَنْ يُنَشَّوْ فِي الْحِيَّةِ Has that come to me? who is reared among ornaments. The female childs, they play with ornaments. وَهُوَ فِي الْخِسَامِ غَيْرُ مُبِينَ And in arguing, he or she is not very clear. وَجَعَلُوا الْمَلَائِكَةِ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عِبَادُ الرَّحْمَانِ نَاسَ And they have said that the angels, who are the servants of the compassionate, that they are females. أَشْتَهِدُوا خَلْقَهُمْ Did they witness their creation? سَتُبْتَبُ شَهَادَتُهُمْ وَيُسَلُونَ So their testimony will be recorded and then they will be questioned on the Day of Judgment. How did you say that the angels were females? وَقَالُوا لَوْ شَعَرْ رَحْمَانُ مَا عَبَدْنَاهُمْ And they say, if the compassionate had desired or willed, we would not have worshipped these gods. مَا لَهُمْ بِذَلِكَ مِنْ عِلْمٍ They don't have any knowledge for that. إِنُمِ اللَّهِ يَخْرُسُونَ They are only guessing. اَمْ آتَيْنَاهُمْ كِتَابٌ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ فَهُمْ بِهِ مُسْتَبْسِكُونَ Have we given them a book before this book? So they are clinging to it. Do they have any book? بَلْ قَالُوا إِنَّا وَجَدْنَا عَبَانَ عَلَىٰ أُمَّتٍ They themselves said, We found our forefathers on a religion, acting on a religion. وَإِنَّا عَلَىٰ عَصَارِهِمْ مُخْتَدُونَ And we are being guided by their footsteps. They don't claim that they have a book. Any revealed scriptures were given to them. وَكَذَلِكَ مَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ فِي قَرِيَةٍ مِنْ نَزِيرٍ And in the same way, we never sent in any city or township before you a messenger, a warner, إِلَّا قَالَ مُتْرَفُوهَا But the affluent people in the, of that town said, إِنَّا وَجَدْنَا عَبَانَا عَلَىٰ أُمَّتٍ Verily, we have found our forefathers on the religion. وَإِنَا عَلَىٰ أَسَارِهِمْ مُقْتَدُونَ And we are following their footsteps. قَالَ عَوَلَوْ جِيَتَكُمْ بِأَحْدَى مِمَّا وَجَدْتُمْ عَلَيْهِ عَبَاكُمْ Now the messenger said, Although I might have brought to you something which is more guided, more guiding than what you found your forefathers on. قَالُوا إِنَّا بِمَا أُرْسِلْتُمْ بِهِ كَافِرُونَ Then they said it plainly. Okay, listen. We surely disbelieve in what you have been sent with. I declare our rejection of what you are saying. فَانْتَقَمْنَا مِنْهُمْ Then we took the revenge from them. فَانْزُرْ كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الْمُكَذِّبِينَ So see, what was the end of these who belied? What was the end of the people of Nuh and Hud and Saleh and so on? وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ وَقَوْمِهِ 
and recall when Ibrahim said to his father and his nation, Innani mimma ta'budun. I am not in the least connected with those whom you are worshipping. Illa lazi fatarani, except the one who has created me. Fahinnahu sayyadin, and he will definitely show me the right path. Wajalaha kalimatum baqiyah, and he made it a lasting word, fi aqibihi, in his posterity. What does it mean? To his progeny he said, don't believe in anyone else except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La allahum yarji'oon, so that if sometimes they go astray, they can come back. If that word remains there, la ilaha illallah. Wal matatu ha ulai wa abahum. But I let these people and their fathers enjoy comfort, hatta jaahum al haq, so that when the truth came to Surah Mubin and a very clear messenger came to them, walamma jaahum al haq, and when the truth came to them, palu haza sehf, they said this is falsery, wa inna bima wa inna bihi kafirun, and we disbelieve in it. Wa kalu laula nuzila haza Quran wa la rajulin min al qariyatani azim, and they said. Why was not this Quran sent down upon some great person from these two cities? These two cities, they were twin cities, so to say. Just as we have in Pakistan, Kabul Pindi and Islamabad are twin cities. So Makkah and Taif were the twin cities. Because people of Makkah had properties in Taif. Taif was, so to say, the hill station for the people of Makkah. In the summer they used to go there. It is high altitude, very good weather. So actually these are the two, two, two very big cities of Hijaz. So what they said, if Allah had to send a messenger, he could choose a big chieftain, a wealthy person, a person who has, you know, so much uh, wealth with him from these two cities, so many people were there. He came, who could have chosen someone, great person. وَقَالُوا لَوْ لَا نُزِّلَ هَذَا الْقُرْآنُ عَلَىٰ رَجُلٍ مِنَ الْخَرِيَتَيْنِ عَظِيمٍ أَهُمْ يَقْسِمُونَ رَحْمَةَ رَبِّكَ Will they distribute the mercy of your Lord? This Nabuah and Risala is mercy. That is why I told you that this institution of prophethood and messengerhood of Allah has reached in the in the person of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, its climax. And that is why we say, لَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا كَيْلَا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ The rahmah, the mercy of Allah has reached its zenith in the person of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So now will they distribute, will they decide to whom this, this mercy should go? نَحْنُ قَسَمْنَا بَيْنَهُمْ عِيشَتَهُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا We have distributed among them their livelihood for the life of this world. وَرَفَعْنَا بَعْدَهُمْ فَوْقَ بَعْدٍ دَرَجَاتٍ And we have raised some of them in rank above others. سُخْرِيًّا لَيَتَّخِذَ بَعْدُهُمْ بَعْدٍ سُخْرِيًّا So that some of them can take service from others, can employ them as servants. وَرَحْمَةُ رَبِّكَ خَيْرٌ مِمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ But the mercy of your Lord is much better than what they are holding and what they are amassing. This mercy of Allah is the revelation which has come to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَلَوْ لَا يَكُونَ النَّاسُ أُمَّةً وَاحِدًا And if there was not the possibility that the whole humanity and mankind would become an evil community, لَجَعَلْنَا لِمَنْ يَكْفُرُ الْرَحْمَانِ We would have given those people who reject Rahman, who disbelieve in Rahman, لِبْيُوتِهِمْ for their houses سُقُفًا مِنْ فِزَّةً Roofs made of silver. وَبَعَارِجَ And the stairs also. عَلَيْهَا يَزْهَرُونَ On which they ascend. وَلِبْيُوتِهِمْ أَبْوَابًا And also for their houses, doors of silver. وَسْهُرُرًا And beds of silver. عَلَيْهَا يَتَّكِعُونَ On which they recline. وَسْهُرُفَا And not only of silver, but also of gold. But what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to say that all these things have no value in our eyes. We could give to any kafir everything here. But if we give all the kafirs all these things, then all the people will become kafirs. So that, that is why we are not giving them. But 
these things have no importance in our eyes. There is a saying of the Prophet ﷺ that if Allah Taala holds whatever is in this world, the whole wealth, equal to a mosquito's uh, wing, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not have given even a draught of water to any kafir. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that these things are meaningless, valueless. They have no value in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In kullu dhalika lamma mataul hayati dunya. And then, even then, all this would have been only a passing comfort for this life of this world. Wal akhiratu inda rabbika lil muttaqeen. While the akhirah, the hereafter, which is with your Lord, is much better for those who, who fear God. وَمَنْ يَعْشُوَ عَنْ ذِكْرِ الرَّحْمَانِ And whosoever blinds himself to the admonition of, of the compassionate, نُقَيَّزْ لَهُ شَيْطَانًا We appoint for him a Satan, فَهُوَ قَرِينَ And he becomes his friend or comrade. This we have read before also. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, with every human being, he has appointed a Satan, a jinn. وَإِنَّهُمْ لَيْسَدُّونَ عَمَنِ السَّمِيلِ And these Satans, they bar them from the right way. وَيَحْسَبُونَ أَنَّهُمْ مُحْتَدُونَ And they are thinking that we are, they are the right, rightly guided. They are on the right path. حَتَّى إِذَا جَعَانَا Till that time, when they will come to us, قَالَ يَا لَيْتَ بَيْنِي وَبَيْنَكَ بَعْدَ الْمَشْرِقَانِ Then the human will say to his jinn or Satan companion, would that there had been between you and me the distance of the two peace. So evil is the comrade. So evil are you, have you been to me as a comrade. You turned me away from the right path. You led me astray. And as a result now I am going to be thrown in the fire of hell. And this is not going to profit you today. When you were evildoers, that you will be now sharers in this chastisement. You and your Satan both will be in the fire of hell. Afanta tusbiyo summa. O Muhammad, can you make the deaf to hear? Or tadil umya? Or you can guide the blind? Waman kana fi zalali mubi? Or the one who is in manifest error? Faima nazabanna bika. So it is also possible that we will take you away. فَإِنَّا مِنُمْ مُنْتَقِبُونَ But then, we shall take the revenge from them. Or we can show to you in your own lifetime what we have promised them. فَإِنَّا عَلَيْهِمْ مُخْتَدِرُونَ We are very powerful and we command, we can do this. فَاسْتَمْسِكْ بِالَّذِي أُوْحِيَ إِلَيْكْ So cling and hold fast to what has been revealed to you. This is the source of strength. To hold fast to Qur'an. وَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِعًا اُتْلُ مَا هُوِيَ إِلَيْكَ مِنْ كِتَابِ رَبِّكَ لَا مُبَدِّلَ لِكَلِمَاتِهِ وَاتْلُ مَا هُوِيَ إِلَيْكَ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ وَاقِمِ السَّلَاةِ All time you know, this has been coming, this command to Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم and his companions. فَاسْتَمْسِكْ بِالْنَزِي أُوْحِيَ إِلَيْكَ So hold fast and cling to that which has been revealed to and this Quran is an admonition for you and your nation, your people. And after some time you will be questioned. Just ask those who we, whom we sent before you as messengers. Did we ever appoint gods besides Rahman? Who should be worshipped? Has it ever been in any revealed scripture? Has it been the teaching of any messenger of Allah that there is some God or gods besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Ask them. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مُوسَى بِآيَاتِنَا إِلَىٰ فِرْعَوْنَ وَمَلَيْهِ And we had sent Musa with our signs to Fir'aun and his chief, chiefs. فَقَالَ إِنِّي رَسُولُ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ And he said, I am the messenger of the Lord of all the worlds. When he came to them with our signs, behold, they started laughing on him. 
And we showed them the signs. And each one which followed was greater than the one which was preceded, the sister. And then we sent on them smaller chastisements so that they return and they turn to ourselves. And whenever any affliction came to them, Azab al Adna, Kalu, they said, Ya you had Sahiru. Now they are addressing Musa as Sahir. O sorcerer, O magician, Udo Lala Rabbak, pray to your Lord for us. Bema Ahida Indak, for you have a covenant with him. Innana la Muhtadun. Now if this affliction is taken away from us, then we shall accept your dawah, you shall accept you as messenger, and we shall be rightly guided. When we remove from that, from them that chastisement, they broke their promise. They went back. And proclaimed Fir'aun in his nation. Oh my people, is not the government of Egypt under me? This is the political shirk. Whosoever claims to be sovereign, he claims to be God. Because sovereignty belongs to God alone. Whosoever claims. Whether he is one person, Firaun and Namrud, or the so-called common people, masses, sovereignty of the people, common people. Well, it is shirk of first order. And there's no difference between monarchy and democracy. In both of them being shirk of the first order. And these canals or these rivers are flowing underneath me. This is the literal translation. And some of the Mufassirin say that under the palaces, you know, he had the rivers and canals flowing. But I don't think this is the meaning. The meaning is that the whole irrigation system is under my control. Because, you know, the economy of Egypt depended upon agriculture. Agriculture depended upon water. Water was coming from Nile. And from the Nile it was the irrigation. And all the irrigation was controlled by the government. To give water to whom and not to whom. This was decision taken by the government. So this all thing is under me. All the resources are under my control. Don't you see? Am I not better than this person, Musa? He is contemptible. And he cannot express himself clearly. So why were not the bracelets of gold cast up upon him. Or the angels would have come with him as attendants. If he is the messenger of Allah, the God of all the kingdoms and all, all the worlds, then these things should have come with him. So he made his people lose their sense and they obeyed him. Innahum kanu qawman fasiqeen. Surely they were a transgressing people. Falamma asafuna, when they angered us, in taqamna minhum, we took revenge from them. Fagrakna hum ajma'in, and we drowned them all together. Fajalna hum salafa. Now we have made them stories of the past. Wa masal al-lakhirin, an example for the coming generations, later generations. When an example is cited from the son of Maryam, Isa alayhi salatu wassalam, behold, your people, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, cry out at that. They said that the Christians worship Jesus. So he is their God. Our gods are hobal, laat, uzza, manat. You have discarded them all. You say they are not. They have no existence, nothing but your guesswork. But you are not saying anything against Jesus. 
This is, you know, their protest. Yes, it do. Then they cry. Wakalu and they say, Aale hatuna khairun amhu. Are our gods better or he? Ma darabuhu ilaka illa jadala. And they have said this to, to you only for quarreling. Balhum qawmun khasimun. They are a very quarrelsome people. In huwa illa abdun an amna alayhi. He was for us a servant. And we blessed on him. وَجَعَلْنَاهُ مَسَلِّ لِبَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ And we have made him an example, a sign for the children of Israel. وَلَوْ نِسَعَوْ لَجَعَلْنَا مِنْكُمْ مَلَائِكَةً عِنْدِ الْعَرْضِ يَخْلُفُونَ And if we decide, we can make from you, come out from you, angels in this earth, in this world, and they will be successors. We can create anything out of anything. وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمُ لِلْسَعَةِ And he, Isa alayhi salam, is a sign of the hours. This ayah is very important according to our ulama. That you know, among the, among the important and big signs of the coming of near, of Qiyamah, of the Sa'ah, one is coming down of Jesus again. Nazul al-Masih alayhi salatu wa salam. Regarding that, there are very, very authentic ahadis. And many authentic ahadis. So it is, a part of our creed, we believe, that Isa was not crucified, alayhi salatu was salam. He was lifted alive to the heaven, and he will return from before the end of this world. And he will chastise the Jews, and he will kill the leader of Jews, Dajjal. And he will kill him. And so, you know, the, the people who rejected him, he was sent as a messenger to the Jews, Rasulun Ilah Bani Israel, and they rejected him. So that punishment which has been due, now it's 2,000 years that it has been due. Now the time is very near when Jesus will come again and he will punish and all the Jews will be exterminated. So you don't have any doubt about it. And follow me. And this is the straight way. And let not the Satan bar you. إِنَّهُ لَكُمْ عَدُوبُ مُبِينَ Let him not stop you from the, coming to the right path. Verily, he is for you a clear and open enemy. وَلَمَّا جَاءَ عِيسَى بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ And when Isa came with clear signs, the miracles of Hazrat Masih a.s. were the greatest. قَالَ لَقَدْ جَيْتُكُمْ بِالْحِكْمَةِ He said, I have brought you the wisdom. This is very important. There is no law in in jail. Hazrat Isa said that the law of Moses, Sharia of Moses is binding upon you also. That is why in jail doesn't contain any law. It's only wisdom, sermon. The Injil only tells the essence of deen, ruh deen, the essence of faith, iman, tawakkul on Allah. All these things, you know. They are discussed in Injil and the sermons of Hazrat Isa alayhi salatu was salam, not the laws. Torah was law, book, and Injil is hikmah, wisdom. But in Quran all these things are, have come together. It's a book, it's hikmah, everything. When Isa came to them with clear signs and miracles, he said, I have brought to you the wisdom. وَلَيُبَيِّنَ لَكُمْ بَعْدُ الَّذِي تَخْتَلِفُونَ فِيهِ And so that I make clear to you some of those things in which you have been differing. فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهُ وَاتِعُونَ So fear Allah and obey me. إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ رَبِّي وَرَبَّكُمْ Verily Allah is my Lord and your Lord. فَعْبُدُوهُ So worship Him. Obey Him. هَذَا صِرَاتُ مُسْتَقِيمُ This is the right path. فَاقْتَلَفُ الْأَحْزَابُ مِنْ بَيْنِهِمْ So different groups. Differed among, among themselves. فَوَيْلُ لِلَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا مِنْ عَذَابِ يَوْمٍ عَلِيمٍ So woe be to those who did wrong things from the chastisement of a painful day. هَلْ يَذْرُونَ إِلَّا السَّاعَةِ What are they looking for except a saah? The doomsday. The qiyamah. أَنْ تَعْتِيَهُمْ بَقْتَةً That they, it should come to them suddenly. وَهُمْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ And they will have no perception that it's coming. All the friends on that day will become enemies to each other. 
إلا المتقين except those who feared God the muttaqeen if they are friends here they will remain friends in the hereafter also but those who are not God fearing they have only their friendships for this world so now they will become enemies to each other on the day of judgment يا عباد لا خوف عليكم اليوم ولا أنتم تحزنون O oh my servants, there is no fear upon you today. Wala antum tahzanun, and nor you shall grieve. Allazina amanu bi ayatina. Those who believed in our revelations, makanu muslimin, and they surrendered themselves, submitted. Udkhulul jannah. Now enter paradise, enter the garden. Antum wa azwajukum. Tuhbarun, you and your spouses. You shall be delighted over there. Yutafu alayhim bi sihafim in zahabim wa akwabin. There shall be passed around them platters of gold and cups. Wafiha ma tashtahihi al anfusu wa tarazul ayun. And in that garden there will be for them whatever their souls desire and the eyes delight in. Wantum fiha khalidun. And now you will abide here forever, forever. وَتِلْكَ الْجَنَّةُ الَّتِي هُرِسْتُمُوهَا بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ And this is the garden which you have been made to inherit because of what you used to do. لَكُمْ فِيهَا فَاكِهَةٌ كَسِيرًا Now here for you are abundant fruit مِنْهَا تَعْكُلُونَ Out of which you can eat. إِنَّ الْمُجْرِمِينَ فِي عَذَابِ جَهَنَّمَ خَالِدُونَ On the contrary, the guilty, the culprits, they are in the chastisement of the hell and they will Abide there forever. La yufatar anhum wa hum fi ebublesun. This chastisement of the hell will never be abated for them, and they shall be despaired therein. Wa ma zalam na hum wa lakin kanu hum uzalimun, and we never wronged to them, never done any did any injustice to them, but they were doing wrong to themselves. Wa nado and they will cry. Ya maliko. Ya Malik, he is the keeper of the paradise, of the hell. Ya Malik, li yakzi alayna rabbuk. Let your Lord put an end to us. Let your Lord make us die, so that we are free from this affliction. Ya Malik, li yakzi alayna rabbuk. Let him do away with us now. Qala innakum maakisoon. He will say, no, you have to remain here forever. No death will come to you to free you from this affliction. Laka jainakum bil haq. We brought you the truth. Walakin aksarakum bil haq te karehun. Walakin aksarakum bil haq te karehun. But most of you, they were very averse to the truth. Am abramu amran fa inna mubremun. Have they decided their affair? Okay. Then we are also deciding. Am yahsabun Allah nasbau sirrahu wa najwahu. Do they think that we don't listen their secrets and their private counselings and consultations? Bala, why not? We listen. And moreover, varusuruna ladehim yaktubun. Our agents are there who are writing down everything. Ol inkaan al Rahman al Waladun fa na awwalu al Abidin. Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, if there was really a son. To the compassionate, I would have been the first to worship him. Why should not I have worshipped him? If I worship Allah, if he had a son, I would have worshipped. If he had a daughter, I would have worshipped. But there is no daughter, no son. It's not for Allah to take a son to him. It not behold of us, behold of him. Kul in kana al Rahman wa Ladun, fa na abwalul abidin. سبحان رب السماوات والأرض رب الأرض شيء ما يسفون. Glorified is the Lord of the heavens and the earth, and the Lord of the throne of power. From all those things which they describe. فذرهم يخذوا ويلعبوا. So leave them, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. Let them speak nonsense and let them play. حتى يلاقوا يومهم الذي يعدون. Till they meet their day. The day about which they have been promised. وَهُوَ الَّذِي فِي السَّمَاءِ الْأَهْرُ وَفِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَهُ And it is He who is the Lord in the heaven as well as in the earth. 
Now this ayah comes very close to that sentence of the Lord's prayers. You know, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heavens. O Allah, your will is being obeyed. Your commands are being obeyed in the whole of the universe. But there is only revolt here on this planet earth. So your command should be established here also. Thy kingdom, kingdom of heaven or earth, the central theme of Hazrat Masih's, you know, call. Kingdom of heaven is coming. Kingdom of heaven is coming. So this kingdom of heaven does it mean? He is the Lord of the heavens. His sovereignty should be established on this earth also. وَهُوَ الَّذِي فِي السَّمَاءِ إِلَاهُمْ وَفِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَاهُمْ وَهُوَ الْحَكِيبُ الْعَلِيمُ And He is all wise, all knowing. وَتَبَارَكَ الَّذِي لَهُ بُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْلَرْضِ And blessed is He to whom is the kingdom and sovereignty of all the heavens and the earth. وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا And whatever is between them. وَإِنْدَهُ إِلْمُسْتَعَهُ And the knowledge of that hour, that appointed hour is with Him. وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ And to Him you will be turned back. وَلَا يَمْلِكُ الَّذِينَ يَدُونَ مِن دُونَهِ شَفَاعَةَ And those whom they are calling upon besides Allah, they will possess no power of intercession. إِلَّا مَنْ شَهِدَ بِالْحَقِّ وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ Except those who will testify with truth and will be knowing. They will say, okay, this fellow, this person is really a guilty person. They won't say, you know, anything which is wrong. How can anybody say anything wrong in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What about the angels, the prophets, the messengers, the saints? They will say anything wrong? No. They will say truth. Whatever truth, they will say it out. لَإِنْ سَعَلْتَهُمْ مَنْ خَلَقَهُمْ لَيَقُلُّنَ اللَّهِ If you ask them, who created them? They will definitely say, Allah, فَرْنَا يُفَكُونَ So where from are they being deviated and diverted? وَقِيلَهِ And I swear by the saying of the Prophet. What is the saying of the Prophet? يَا رَبَّ إِنَّهَا أُولَاءِ قَوْمٌ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Oh my Lord, this my people, they are a people who are not ready to believe. فَسْفَعْ أَنْهُمْ So, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, turn away from them for a while. وَقُلْ سَلَامُ And say salam. Okay. You have rejected? Okay. Go. فَسْفَعْ فَتِعْلَمُونَ Very soon they will come to know as to what will be the result of their rejection.